Newton, Georgia, March 15th, 2023. And um, we're gonna take a look at a Viper Balanza plant close up here. This was pulled from a wet area um, down over back in the far right there. Um, it was with some annual, growing with some annual ryegrass. And a couple of things just to point out, we tried to take the roots apart. Of course, there was a bunch of ryegrass embedded in it, so really didn't do much justice in pulling the roots out <clears throat> or separating them. But if you did want to point out some really good nodulation early on, if you look uh, really throughout all that root structure there. And then here's the way that the plant is growing so far. Um, I'd say that's probably one, two, might be might be close to about 32 to 36 inches long um, we pulled some crimson as well and the crimson was uh, it was probably about 12 uh, to 15 inches something just to note um, the stem as we're aware on the balances is hollow you can see it's just pinched hollow there and once you get down to the very uh, near right the the base of the plant Right here, when I'm pinching that, it's very solid. So the, um, the probably the sources of a lot of the nutrients are embedded right here. And then, of course, going up, you get the hollow stem, and then you get the uh, the large leaves. Again, it was noted just in these in these fields here um, that are real lush with ryegrasses that the uh, the balanza clover was able to. Um, to, to basically elevate itself up uh, and try to reach for the sky to capture those uh, nutrients.